All right, hello, and welcome to Camel Finance. I'm your boy Camel, and today I'm going to be talking about CBDCs, digital IDs, this great reset, the freezing of the financial system. And I want to start by saying, let's walk through this scenario, and then I'm going to do my best to prove to you that this scenario is, although it does sound a bit crazily, admittedly, it's happening right now, and we're getting closer and closer to this. It's time to stop sitting around and doing nothing. Here's the scenario. There's a global blackout, and when the power comes back on, you can't access your bank accounts, your cards don't work in the shops anymore. Whether that blackout lasts a day or a week or a month remains to be seen. Anyway, you check the news to see what's going on, and they'll say something like, something has collapsed. Whether this is a country, whether this is a nation, whether this is on a global scale, they'll tell you something has collapsed and a new system is needed. That new system will be a reboot to the CBDC system, the central bank digital currencies, and it will come with digital IDs and social credit scores and a whole heap of horrible stuff. So if you go into Google and you can type in any place followed by the word blackouts, you will have no shortage of articles telling you things like this. The national grid boss explains when blackouts and power cuts could be imposed in the UK. Here it is in the UK again, power struggles, UK companies gear up for winter blackouts. UK blackouts, the exact times your house could face hours of power cuts this winter amid energy crisis. And it's not just the UK, it's the US. Like I said, you can pretty much type in any place and you'll find it. The US creaky power grid, no match for worsening weather catastrophes. Over in the Ukraine, you can see Moldova braces for blackouts. And here, snowy Kiev grapples with power outages amid fears of new attacks. So you literally can type in any country followed by the word blackouts and you will find stuff like this in the news. But what if all of these were warm-ups or test runs for one big blackout, maybe even framed as a cyber attack? Sound crazy? Well, here it is from everyone's three-letter organization, protecting critical infrastructure from a cyber pandemic. So as you can see, they've been telling us to expect this for a while. In addition, CBDCs are already here. And again, if you don't believe me, then check this out. The president of the Bank of Brazil shows open finance digital real concept featuring stablecoin integration and payment functionality. At the same time, the Ukraine is launching a CBDC to help fight its crisis, or so it says. We've got the UK may need a digital pound, according to the Bank of England. We've got the digital yen CBDC trial set to roll out with major banks next year. At the same time, the US banks have just launched a digital dollar blockchain pilot spanning allegedly for 12 weeks. And right here is the white paper for the CBDC research project directly from the Reserve Bank of Australia. Still not convinced? Well, how about the Bank of Korea testing NFT trading and remittances with their CBDC? And it's not just these places because it's also the European Central Bank. Again, publications on central bank digital currencies. These things are not just coming, they're here. Brussels is putting out digital euro law shortly, according to Christine Lagarde from the ECB, and the European Commission is soon to propose legislation on a digital euro. CBDCs are not just coming, they are here. They are here. So let's start putting two and two together. The WEF has told us that we will own nothing and be happy about this. And if you don't believe that this is a direct statement, here it is, okay? You can go down that rabbit hole in your own time. They also have told us about blackouts and cyber pandemics, as I showed you a minute ago, and they have also been telling us CBDCs were coming with digital IDs, etc. See Rishi. So why Rishi? Rishi Sunak, the recent prime minister of the UK, his father-in-law, this guy here, owns a company called Infosys. Why is this important? Because Infosys is the company in India that is working on and has already created the digital IDs. Not a coincidence, let me assure you. We also know the public will not accept CBDCs or digital IDs unless they are forced to. If they're made poor to the point of starvation via inflation slash the increasing cost of living, they will be delighted to be offered a solution such as central bank digital currencies with a universal basic income. And I put here CM2 and Rishi digital IDs. And so here is M2. This is the money supply from the US Federal Reserve of America. You can see that once we got to 2020 and this whole pandemic thing hit, the amount of money that they created out of thin air went from 15 trillion to around 22, 23 trillion in just 18 months. At the same time, Rishi Sunak is being urged to examine universal basic income to protect Brits from future crises. Again, none of this is speculation at this point. This 
is all happening directly underneath our noses. Also happening right underneath our noses is the pension wealth of the UK being completely destroyed. Remember, we've already seen this this year. And here you go. The banks had to step in and perform emergency quantitative easing, that is to say printing money and buying bonds, in order to prevent the pension funds from collapse. Bank's $65 billion move driven by pension fund panic. The Bank of England stepped in to calm markets after some types of pension funds were at risk of collapse. So I ask again, what if we have a blackout or a cyber attack? And they end up rebooting the system to this new central bank digital currency system with the digital IDs and social credit scores just like they have in China. The average person who has been conditioned to expect stimulus checks and government handouts such as the Help for Energy scheme will be delighted to have some money again, especially when coupled with some sort of UBI or similar. And let me tell you right now, this is not just me saying this. Let's now hear this in a, just a two minute clip from a retired wealth manager from Switzerland, Clive Thompson. I think it's quite likely that the CBDC will arrive and it will also be the subject of the currency reset at the same time. Um, at some point, the, the, well, the world is going to go into a crisis or a country is going to go into a crisis. It might be the UK, it might be Italy, it might even be the United States. But something is going to happen. Things are very, very taut in the financial world at the moment. Um, when that happens, I think they will close the banks. You'll wake up on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday morning and say and hear the news that they've shut the banks, they're not going to open on Monday. And then by Monday evening or Tuesday, you'll get the announcement that we're having a new currency, the CBDC, and don't worry, it'll be one to one against the old currency. Uh, but there'll be some restrictions on your ability to convert your old money into the new money. So if you're poor and you have a small bank account, it'll be converted one to one straight away. Um, so will, uh, and you'll probably even find that you get a free gift from the government to get kickstart the system. Maybe three or five thousand pounds will be given to every citizen gratuitously to kickstart the system in the new CBDC. But if you have a hundred thousand or a million in the bank, you're going to be told, yes, it's one to one, but you're going to have to wait to convert it to the new currency. Now, wait means never. We all know that. Uh, but they won't tell you that. They'll say it's a temporary suspension because we're in the middle of a crisis. The people are rioting in the streets. We need to calm the system. So here's some free money, everybody. Go and enjoy yourselves. And by the way, the rich can't convert their money for a while, uh, but they'll be able to do so later. So if you happen to own Apple bonds, they'll be de denominated in the old dollars. You won't be able to, it'd still be old dollars. You won't be able to convert those old dollars until you've got the cash. But when you get the cash, you'll need permission to do it. And you're not going to get that permission. It'll be exactly like we had in Britain back uh, before 1975 when we had the, um, um, the exchange controls. You needed permission from the Bank of England. I mean, I, I remember if I, when I traveled abroad the first time, I was allowed to take 50 pounds with me abroad. So there you have it. It's not just me saying this. This system is coming and it's incredibly close. This of course begs the question, what exactly can we do? Well, first of all, you can ensure that all of your loved ones, friends, family are well informed. If you understand all of this, then you are in the minority. So you have a duty, a moral obligation to educate those around you, friends, family, anyone that will listen. Spread this message, share this video, do what you can to make sure people are aware of this. You can keep physical cash somewhere. Now, I understand this comes with certain problems for where to store it and security, but if you've got it all in the bank, be prepared for it to be frozen, as you just heard in that video clip. This also includes crypto, keeping Bitcoin and crypto on a cold or a hardware wallet outside of an exchange is imperative. If you haven't learned that via the FTX collapses of late, then I really don't know what to tell you at this point. Also, things like gold and silver in your hand, not in a bank box or an ETF. You can ensure you have food, water, energy, medicines, where appropriate, stocked up responsibly. There's no telling how long these cards won't work for. It could be a day, but it could be a month. It could be multiple months. Maybe they want to completely burn this system down, have everyone in the streets killing each other. Who knows, right? Who knows? You also might not be able to get food. Food might not be readily available. It might be quite a dangerous thing to have to go to the supermarket. Again, I'm not trying to doom monger here. I'm just trying to tell you, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. 
You can also exit the system using Bitcoin, crypto, gold, and silver, things that cannot be confiscated, okay? If you've got this Bitcoin and crypto on a cold wallet, if you've got physical gold and silver and cash in your hand, you stand a lot better chance of being able to get through this than if all of your money has been entrusted with exchanges and banks. And lastly, you can take action right now. There really isn't much time left. You can see that here. Everything I've shown you today, this thing is almost completely done. If you want a further study, I've put this video out before that explains the freezing of the financial system. You can see that right here. You can go and check that one out. To give some context on how close I think we are, here is a stock market chart. I have been calling for this melt up blow off top that then tops somewhere around the end of Q1 of next year. Then we're gonna go full Great Reset, Great Depression, and this will culminate probably at the end of next year with the launch of the CBDCs. This is how close we are now. Do you understand how close we are? We are likely gonna see these all launched at the end of 2024 and into 2025. Whether or not I'm right about this melt up is irrelevant in terms of this reset and the CBDC launches. And the reason I say that is because whether we go up and then down, or we've already seen the top and we're just gonna continue down, at some point things are gonna get so bad that they are forced to reboot this system the pension wealth will have been completely wiped out. They will have had to print money to try to prop the system up and it won't have worked. It would have just created even more inflation. People will be begging for a solution. And of course, that solution will be the launch of central bank digital currencies, digital IDs and social credit scores. Take action now whilst you still can. If you found value here today, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video, share this video around, post it to social media. Let's help raise awareness for what's about to come. Subscribe if you're not already. In the meantime, take care. All the best from me. Cheers. Bye.